time-starved executives are making better decisions with less risk and better outcomes. Their secret? Operational research. But what is operational research? In a nutshell, OR is the discipline of applying appropriate analytical methods to help make better decisions. In today's world, OR is all around us. It can be found in just about everything we do. It forms the building blocks for our everyday world, from buying a flight to queuing for our weekly groceries. There has never been a better time to use OR. Today, most organisations have masses of data. The ways we communicate are fast, computers are sophisticated and powerful. And the business world is now investing heavily in putting operational research at the centre of what they do, making a real difference. Never before have so many people or products needed to be moved around the world. As passengers and consumers, we expect everything to run smoothly. Whether we are buying flights, commuting to work, or wanting food readily available at the supermarket. For businesses, moving people and products around can be a complicated and expensive matter. Here at British Airways, Getting the maths right can make passengers more satisfied with the service and make millions of pounds worth of difference to the business. The OR department of British Airways has been here a long time. We influence a whole range of decisions. We're a big complicated business and OR thinking is pretty critical to taking the right decisions. OR helps influence a range of decisions across the business, right from which aircraft should we buy, uh, where we should fly, who our alliance partners should be, how we should board the new A380s, how many tickets we should sell of what type, what our customer data is telling us right across the range of the business. This is the Airbus A380, the largest passenger aircraft in the world. These new aircraft are a fantastic opportunity for British Airways to expand, but with this opportunity comes risk. We've never operated an aircraft this big before and getting it wrong can have huge impacts on the entire operation. There could be delays which would impact customer satisfaction and getting it wrong could incur additional costs which obviously will impact profitability. The business was interested in seeing how long it would take between the aircraft arriving and then being ready to leave again. We chose to solve the problem using simulation and the reason we used simulation was because it allowed us to run multiple scenarios in a safe and virtual environment. We were able to recommend to the business how many staff were required, how many doors we needed to use to board the aircraft to ensure that boarding took no longer than it currently does on the Boeing 747, whilst making sure the customers have the best experience possible. OR really valued here by the company. OR thinking and OR insights are incredibly useful when you're trying to take really difficult business decisions. Uh, and also, OR people often bring that different way of looking at a problem that you, you don't see yourself. In today's world, all of us expect the things we want and need to be readily available. That means shelves to be always stocked and deliveries to arrive on time. This is what we term the supply chain of a business. For a major UK retailer like Asda, it's crucial that this process runs like clockwork. And OR techniques lie at the very heart of keeping the business running. We service over 500 shops in the UK, serving almost 8 million customers every week of the year. Cleaning distribution, we have a huge responsibility to make sure that our customers served on time with product that's as fresh as possible. We use operational research pretty much every day in our working lives. One of our biggest challenges in the last five years is about how quickly we can get the products from point of manufacturer to point of delivery into our depots. Our focus on route planning and analysis has made a real big difference to the way that we operate. It means that we take miles off the road, we, we reduce the impact on the environment, 
and has helped our cost position. One of our biggest recent initiatives is the utilisation of higher capacity delivery vehicles um, delivering to our shops. Through the analysis that we completed, we were able to prove that by getting almost twice as much product on these vehicles, it had a substantial cost benefit for us and it saves us £10 million a year, which can reinvest back into price. Here at ASDA, OR techniques run right through the business helping to influence big decisions such as where to build a new store or depot. Building a new depot is a big investment for ASDA and can cost up to £60 million. So it's critical that we build in the right location. We do this through a large amount of modelling and analysis tools to help us understand where in the country we will be building new stores, so where that depot needs to be. Here, OR is used to ensure that ASDA are constantly improving every process within the depots to get the products out to the stores more quickly. I work in continuous improvement for distribution and we look at our depots, um, the processes that we complete, how long they take and how we can improve them so that we can make the depot more efficient. Every single day that we come to work, it's a new challenge and if we can use operational research to support that and make it easier and better for our customers, then we've done a great job collectively. Operational research is often at the heart of what makes a business run efficiently. Here, everything must be planned and timed precisely to avoid bottlenecks. Tata Steel in Port Talbot manufactures steel products and operational research techniques are key to improving productivity and reducing costs. What we produce here are big steel coils that we sell on to various companies that produce everyday objects such as tin cans, office furniture, cars and fridges. The OR team currently consists of 12 members. We provide an in-house service where we incorporate ourselves into various project teams for all the departments. We use lots of software within the department where we can build real world processes on a computer screen and visually show these to the project managers, the process specialists and they can play out various scenarios without having to work them out on real world processes. This in turn can save a lot of money and is a lot safer in the long run. Here on the plant we've had a throughput of up to 4.4 million tonnes of uh, steel and we're looking to take that up to 5.3 million tonnes. So we've got a project to look at the infrastructure to see if it can handle the extra 20% throughput. The benefits of uh, producing 5.3 million tonnes as opposed to 4.4 will mean that our uh, cost per tonne will come down as an organisation. The reason why we got the OR team involved is because when you're looking at your own process and you're so close to it, I think you make a lot of assumptions and the model will take those assumptions away. They started coming to our meetings first of all, but then we got into the nitty gritty of actually going out on plant and getting them as close to the process as we could, so they could see for themselves. Operational research is often at the heart of what makes a business run efficiently. Here, everything must be planned and timed precisely to avoid bottlenecks. Chris Dale runs Crown Paints here in Darwin, Blackburn. They're one of the UK's leading paint makers. We add colour to people's lives. We make paint products that uh, brightens up our homes and our workplaces. If you, you're decorating your house tomorrow, you'll probably find that um, there's, a, there's a good chance that you will have used some of the colours that, uh, that we produce here on the site in Darwin. Here there are literally hundreds of different colours made and well over a hundred varieties of paint. So knowing what colours go where and how many of each variety is needed is crucial to the success of the business. Oh, I came on to, to help us with building a model of the plant, a simulation model of the plant that allows us to understand better the complexities of the plant, to break down a complex problem, to make it very visual and to allow us to be able to compare the real world with information that we're able to draw out of a model. The model itself in some ways looks like a computer game. It allows us to visualise exactly what the problems are, 
it's like a, a map of the plant. It shows us all the tanks, it shows us the mixers, it shows us the different routings and the filling areas. The clock in the corner here is running through and as soon as it hits six o'clock you will see the processes actually start in the premix and the manufacturing area and we already have a batch running through into the plant and it's going through to a filling line and you'll be able to see that the batches run through step by step process until they hit the filling line and the fillings are shown as running through into the warehouse. And as you can imagine there's a, there's a huge number of variables and, the, and this, the, the whole system allows us to simplify that, visualise it and, and, and understand really what is happening. This piece of software can actually allow us to schedule more efficiently, it actually allows us to run the plant more efficiently, it, or utilise the people we have, the skills they have and the equipment. Operational research is vital to our, to our business, it's, it's critical in, in helping us to understand how we can improve and how we can be more competitive in, in what are very competitive markets. OR continues to generate powerful benefits for organisations and leaders who know how to apply it effectively. To find out more about how OR could help your organisation, go to www.scienceofbetter.co.uk. Thank you.